dear students welcome to your pedia this is chandrashekar faculty of electrical and electronics engineering at your pedia meek andar ki telsu janko is about to give one uh, very good notification so dani gurinchi we are uh, we started uh, one uh, youtube series of questions youtube series of questions uh, which is going to contain very good previously asked various psus examination so we are going to learn concepts through these questions we'll discuss the question and the concept behind the question so uh, in the previous video i discussed uh, power systems 20 questions in this uh, control systems 20 questions 20 good questions i'm going to discuss so uh, europea is located at hyderabad in surilo complex at second floor in surilo complex at abits in second floor uh, you can come and inquire about the uh, janko module what we are offering or you can call to the number that is given in the description you can get this document uh, questions as well as solutions document from our website you can go to our website and you can download join your hands with your pdf for uh, uh, to accelerate your uh, ts genco preparation thank you let's start uh, our uh, first question see uh, the question level of genco or any telangana state examination uh, level questions are very easy okay don't do research on the topics okay so see the result oriented preparation is very important you can you may uh, do phd in control systems but that is not required for getting selected in uh, ts genco as an assistant engineer right so target oriented preparation is very important okay please keep that in mind yeah first question a transfer function has second order denominator and constant gain in the numerator then he's asking yeah read the options first option is the system has two zeros at the origin if it is having two zeros at the origin then transfer function will be so i can say transfer function will be yes sum k into s square he said that two zeros at the origin that is wrong so he is saying that constant in the numerator and two poles a transfer function has second order denominator second order denominator means in the denominator it is having s square s square means order is two or it is going to have two poles now second next option the system has two finite zeros no if it is having two finite zeros means uh, your transfer function will look like this transfer function is equal to k into s plus a is a uh, one zero s plus b is another zero it did not give in any information about the denominator but uh, the question says that uh, it is having a second order in the denominator or two poles uh, uh, the transfer function is having okay the system has two zeros at infinity yes one of the good option one of the good option okay third or uh, fourth option is the system has uh, one zero at infinity now the important thing here is our second order transfer function is generally standard that is omega n square by or need not to write a standard second order some k by s plus a into s plus b it is having two finite poles it is having two finite poles right now look at he given options about zeros means for if transfer function is this way he is asking about the zeros it is not having any finite zeros first option is system has two zeros at the origin no it is not having any finite zeros second option is the system has two finite zeros no it is not having any finite zeros so because he said that numerator is constant and denominator is of second order right third one is the system has a two zeros at infinity yes it is having two poles if it is having two poles every system is going to have total number of poles is equal to total number of zeros you may get confused sir here two poles are there but where are the two zeros those two zeros are at infinity those two zeros are at infinity means uh, here it is having it is having see number of finite poles number of i am writing here number of finite poles is equal to number of finite zeros is equal to zero number of finite zeros is equal to zero then number of infinite or poles at infinity number of poles at infinity is equal not poles man. number of zeros at infinity number of zeros at infinity 
zeros at infinity is equal to 2. If you see total number of poles is equal to finite poles plus infinite poles, infinite there are no poles, two poles are there, finite poles. Total number of zeros are what? Finite zeros plus uh, zeros at infinity. Finite zeros are 0, zeros at infinity are 2, 2 plus 0 is 2, 2 equal to 2. See very simple to understand that is if more, if poles are more, if poles are more then zeros are that difference of poles and zeros will be at infinite. I will take uh, one simple example and then I will discuss okay. This concept is very much required in root locus okay. We discuss uh, in root locus that is yeah suppose some example I am taking some examples I am taking. So if I am taking transfer function is equal to s plus 1 by s plus 2 into s plus 3 s plus 2 into s plus 3 observe here poles is equal to 2 zeros is equal to 1 these are finite poles and finite zeros finite means which are visible to your naked eye right poles are 2 zeros are 1 now the point here is uh, zeros at infinity zeros at infinity is equal to yeah which of which is see poles how many poles are there minus zeros how many poles are there two and one there is one zero is at infinity therefore total number of poles is equal to total number of zeros now suppose if it is in the reverse way if it is in the reverse way so next example i am taking transfer function is equal to s plus one into s plus two whole square by s plus 3 here zeros are 3 poles are 1 now poles are less than zeros what we have to understand is there are two poles at infinity here no zeros at infinity why because zeros are greater than compared to poles now here poles at infinity poles at infinity is equal to 3 minus 1 that is equal to 2 clear yeah Number of poles or number of zeros at infinity is equal to m minus n or n minus m, where m is number of uh, poles and n is number of zeros, finite poles and finite zeros, right? Let's go to the next question. In a signal flow graph, loop which does not possess, loop which does not possess any common node are known as, loops which does not possess any common node are known as non-touching loops. Two loops are, yeah. Two loops are said to be non-touching if those two loops are not having any node in common right option is b uh, if you want i'll write here i'll write here yes two loops if if loops are if loops are not having any node in common in common then those loops are said to be those loops are said to be yes non touching non touching so option is a let's go to the next question next question let A and B be the forward and feedback paths in a control system to control the voltage. The overall voltage gain, see overall gain is called as transfer function. Transfer function is also called as overall gain. Okay, yeah. So he is asking the overall gain of this closed loop system is overall gain is equal to transfer function. Yes, he given, he is saying that there is yeah x and y this is the forward path its gain is a it is a feedback path its gain is b now he is asking about x y by x so y by x is how much now right see my sense going formula is not applicable here why because input node is not defined what is input node the node which is having only outgoing branches is called as input node but this node x is having both the input uh, incoming as well as outgoing so write the equations algebraic equations y is equal to x a yes y is equal to x a yeah here if a and b be the far and feedback paths in a control systems in a control in a control system to control the voltage the overall voltage gain of this 
closed loop system is so uh, what what is his meaning this let us take his meaning not uh, his meaning is not this one ma his, his meaning is not this one he is taking this way observe observe it here i drawn it uh, wrongly yeah i'll do that again so it let's take a block diagram instead of signal flow graph that is better that is better he is asking us uh, why because if you want to understand uh, this one clearly we have to take block diagram see how block diagram general block diagram you know we are going to take a summing point forward path means input to output feedback path means output to input i have to take a summing point the signal flow graph what i drawn is wrong i am drawing it again i am drawing it again observe it please observe it yeah this is plus minus if as he did not given as he did not given we take it as negative feedback we are taking it as negative feedback so if not mentioned by default we take it as negative feedback so this is x this is y now yes you can apply maths once again formula so y by x is equal to yeah y by x is equal to yeah how much it is forward path gain is a by 1 plus a b yeah you know how to apply maths once again formula very easily number of forward, forward path gain into delta 1 by delta where delta is 1 minus sum of all the individual loop gains only one loop is there so a by 1 plus a b or b a option b is the perfect answer option b is the perfect answer see though the question is simple somewhat it is confusing okay so for this one signal flow graph will be like this see you have to draw signal flow graph this way yeah this is a now this will be minus b so this is x this is y so this is what i have to take or we have to take signal flow graph now if you apply one forward path a by one loop gain one plus a b let's go to the next question ma. the next question observe it find the transfer function v c of s by v of s for the circuit shown below how to get how to get first of all convert the given time domain circuit into s domain if you want to find transfer function convert the circuit from time domain to s domain then if you do so this will be ls this will be r this will be you know you know it very well that inductance in s domain will be ls this is vi of s this is vc of s so he is asking transfer function vc of s by trans see this capacitance will be 1 by cs vc of s by va of s is equal to 1 by cs by r plus ls plus 1 by cs 1 by cs by r plus ls plus 1 by cs therefore vc of s by va of s is equal to 1 by voltage division i applied output voltage is equal to output voltage is equal to input voltage into output impedance by total impedance lcs square plus you get it as ser plus 1 that's all 1 by lcs square plus ser plus 1 so choice is b choice is b next question the transfer functions are given below which one represents a non-minimum phase transfer function what is a non-minimum phase system if any pole or zero of open loop transfer function lies in the right half of s plane then that system is said to be non-minimum phase system if it is a closed loop transfer function if any of its zero is lying in the right half of s plane then it is said to be non-minimum phase system yeah this is minimum phase this is minimum phase this is minimum phase this is the non-minimum phase it is having one zero in the right half of s plane if any of the pole or zero of a open loop transfer function or if any zeros of the closed loop transfer function lies in the right of s plane right of s plane it is called as non minimum phase system yeah next question read it please yeah the total gain x4 by x1 of the signal flow graph shown in figure is he is asking x4 by x1 you can apply mass on gain formula x4 by x1 how many forward paths are there only one forward path what is the forward path gain a b c delta 1 is 1 pi 1 minus how many loops are there only one loop the loop gain is b d the loop gain is b d so x4 by x1 is equal to a b c by 1 minus 
BD. ABC by 1 minus BD. Yeah. ABC by 1 minus BD. Choice is C. Let's go to the next question. The transfer function of a zero order hold will be. See what is zero order hold? That is a simple pulse. That is a simple pulse. Zero. This is one of magnitude one. Yeah. This is time t. Now how to write that one? Suppose if this is a, some x of t, I, if I take x of t is the zero order whole circuit function, then what is x of t? x of t, you are going to get it as u of t, u of t minus u of t minus 1. Then, yeah, x of t, yeah, if you take a unit step, in that you subtract again, delayed unit step by one unit, then you are going to get that. Now, what is its function? x of s is equal to u of t is 1 by s. This is e power minus s by s. Therefore, that is equal to 1 minus e power minus s by s. So, x of s is 1 minus. Suppose if I am taking this one as t, if I am taking that one as t, then the answer will be u of t minus t, that is, this is e power minus st, this is e power minus st. Look at the options. 1 minus e power minus st by s. Choice is c. Choice is c. Right? Yeah. Let's go to the next question. This is uh, one of the good questions. He is asking to find as the transfer function. Transfer function of the given network uh, would be. So, if you want to find it, it is very lengthy. It, it will take some time. But instead of that, very simply, this is v naught. That is or he given v1 okay let, let it be v1 by vi v0 so v1 is output v0 is input according to him that is input this is output now the simple formula is z2 z4 by z1 into 2 plus z2 plus z3 plus z4 plus z2 into z3 plus z4 simple to remember also 2 4 these shunt elements product 2 4 what is this z1 so this is z1 which is r1 this is 1 by cs yeah in s domain c will be 1 by cs this is equal to z2 yeah this is z3 this is z4 that is equal to ls yeah l into s yeah the product of shunt elements by 1 start with 1 1 into 2 plus 3 plus 4 start with 2 2 into 3 plus 4 2 4 by 1 2 3 4 plus 2 3 4 right now so v1 by v0 is equal to z2 1 by cs into z4 ls by z1 r1 into z2 1 by cs plus z3 r2 it is plus z4 ls plus z2 how much it is 1 by cs into z3 r2 plus yeah z4 is ls if you simplify this you are going to get the answer one simple step it is you need not to struggle see if you don't know this formula it will take at least five minutes for you to get the answer right let's go to the next question ma. the next question is closed loop transfer function of a unity feedback control system is given by y of s by r of s is equal to omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square system kv velocity error constant is what is kv kv is limit s tends to 0 s into g of s into h of s what is this g of s into h of s this is open loop transfer function but that fellow given what this is closed loop transfer function he given now what is oltf so oltf is equal to open loop transfer function is equal to if i assume it as unity negative feedback system then oltf is equal to cltf by 1 minus cltf if you do that you are going to get oltf is equal to omega n square by s s square plus 2 zeta omega n s that can be oltf is equal to omega n square by s into s plus 2 zeta omega n yes s into s plus 2 zeta omega n now kv is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into yeah omega n square by s into s plus 2 zeta omega n this s s gone so limit s tends to 0 you are going to get it as omega n square by 
टू जीता ओमेगा एन ओमेगा ओमेगा एन कौन सो ओमेगा एन बाई टू जीता ओमेगा एन बाई टू जीटा राइट ओमेगा एन बाई टू जीटा चॉइस इज ए दिस इज वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन राइट लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन या द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द क्लोज लुप ट्रांसफर फंक्शन ऑफ ए कंट्रोल सिस्टम इज गिवेन बाय सी ऑफ एस बाई आर ऑफ एस इज इक्वल टू वन बाई एस प्लस वन फॉर द इनपुट आर ऑफ टी इज इक्वल टू साइन टी द स्टडी स्टेट वैल्यू ऑफ आउटपुट सी ऑफ टी इज इक्वल टू ईजी क्वेश्चन में पीपल विल मेक इट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड ईजी क्वेश्चन वी नो दैट आउटपुट इज इक्वल टू इनपुट इन टू इनपुट इन टू ट्रांसफर फंक्शन वॉट इज द इनपुट इनपुट इज साइन टी आर ऑफ टी इनपुट इज साइन टी साइन टी इफ यू कंपेर दिस वन विथ साइन ओमेगा टी ओमेगा इक्वल टू वन इनपुट फ्रीक्वेंसी इज वन रेडियंस पर सेकेंड नाउ कैन आई राइट इनपुट आर ऑफ टी एस वन एट एंगल जीरो Yes, I can write. Yeah, the chain T can be written as one at an angle zero. Now, transfer function is what uh, one by s plus one. S can be replaced with j omega. S can be replaced with j omega. Transfer function is equal to j omega plus one. Sir, so why s is to be replaced with j omega? Well, because we are in AC analysis. If your input is sine or cos, or a combination of sine and cos, then s must be replaced with uh, j omega. If you replace s with j omega, that is omega equal to one, and we know that, and we know that omega is equal to one. Now, what is transfer function magnitude? I am going to get, uh, or let me write the transfer function, and after that, I'll write the magnitude and all. Yeah, let me write. Observe, transfer function z equal to. 1 by j omega plus 1, but omega equal to 1. So transfer function is equal to 1 by j1 plus 1. So magnitude of the transfer function is equal to 1 by root 2, and angle theta of the transfer function is minus tan inverse of imaginary by real. That is equal to minus pi by 4, or minus 45 degrees. Now transfer function total can be written as. 1 by root 2 at an angle of minus pi by 4. Now output is equal to input is 1 at an angle 0 into transfer function that is 1 by root 2 at an angle of minus pi by 4. Therefore output is equal to 1 by root 2 at an angle of minus pi by 4. So output is equal to if you write in the form of sine 1 by root 2 sine of t minus pi by 4. Right? So In the transfer function, you have to replace s with j omega. Omega is the frequency, the input frequency. System is not going to have means the system operating frequency. The system will have its own natural frequency. I am not talking about that. The present operating frequency of a system is equal to input uh, frequency. Input frequency is omega equal to one. That's why I substitute omega equal to one. Look at the option. Which option is correct? One by root two sine of t minus pi by four. Choice is D. Let's go to the next question. The error. Constant for an input a ramp signal of unity feedback control system is one. The error constant. He is saying that error constant or coefficient for ramp input is also called as velocity error constant or velocity error coefficient that is equal to one. Right? The error constant of input uh, for an in, uh, input ramp signal of unity feedback control system is one. The steady state error is equal to. Come on. So ESS is equal to A by KV. One, it is one. Answer is one. Direct formula. First, uh, steady state error for ramp input is equal to yes, yes is equal to a by k b, right? Let's go to the next question now. Which of the following transfer function of second order linear time invariant system the under damped system is represented by? See what is the classification of the systems? Classification of the systems is undamped. G t is equal to zero. Undamped. Let me write uh, no damping. Undamped. Next, g t equal to one. Critically damped. Critically damped. Yes. G t greater than one. Over damped. G t greater than one. Over damped. Zero less than g t less than one means g t is greater than one, but it is greater than zero but less than one. It is called as under damped. What is this under? Damp. He is asking 
which of the following option is underdeveloped? I give you one shortcut for finding zeta. If your characteristic equation is equal to a s square plus b s plus c is equal to 0, then zeta is equal to b by 2 root c. The formula for zeta is b by 2 root c, shortcut. Now, option a I check, zeta is equal to b by 2 root c, this is equal to 1, it is critically damped. Option A is wrong. Let's check option B. Option B, option B is also wrong. Why? Because here 4 is there, 4 itself is giving 1, then here 5 is there, definitely it is going to give more than 1 for you, right? Zeta is equal to B by 2 root 4, 2 into 2, 4, 5 by 4, it is uh, greater than 1, it is over damped. Let's see option C, let us see the option C, yes. Let us see the option C, that is zeta is equal to 4, 4, 4.5 by 2 root 4. This is also greater than 1. C is also wrong, right? Let us see option D, zeta is equal to B by 2 root 4, that is 3 by 4 is equal to 0.75, that is less than 1. Therefore, option D is under damped. Option D is under damped. Let's go to the next question mark. The system is used as an oscillator. Yeah, he's saying that uh, that is used as an oscillator. Time invariant control system is given by 10 Q, 10 by S Q plus 10 S square plus 5 S plus K. The oscillator frequency in radius per second is very simple. If a third order system is a transfer function, let me write first transfer function. Transfer function is equal to 10 by S Q plus 10 S square plus 5 S plus K. If this is oscillating, what is the characteristic equation? S cube plus 10 S square plus 5 S plus K equal to 0. If this is working as an oscillator, for that one to work as an oscillator, the internal product means S square product and S product 10 into 5 is equal to 1 into K. Yeah, for this one to act as an oscillator, internal coefficients product must be equal to external coefficients product external is 1 and k right this we call it as critical gain or marginal gain k c so k c is equal to 50 and omega oscillations is equal to see if you compare this one with i'll ask you to compare see here i'm writing characteristic equation equal to a s cube plus b s square plus c s plus d is equal to 0 for it is to be marginally stable or to give oscillations to give oscillations the condition is bc must be equal to ad the con that is the condition and the oscillation frequency is yeah the omega oscillations is equal to root to d by b or that is equal to root to c by a in place of c how much i have in place of c i have 5 so omega oscillations is equal to root of 5 by 1 radians per second, right? Root of 5 by 1 radians per second. Yeah, how much is root 5 by 1? It is, uh, I can say, 2 point something, 2 point something, 3 means it is 9, right? Yeah, 2 it is 4, 2 square is 4, under root of 5 will be 2.28, right? That is the option. Let's go to the next question. A unit feedback control system has u of s is equal to k by s into s plus 1. The steady state error in the output response for unit step input is, uh, what is the formula? ESS is equal to, so ESS equal to a by 1 plus kp. So a is 1, right? Because it is unit step. What is kp? kp is equal to limit s tends to 0, g of s into h of s. Now, kp is equal to limit s tends to 0 yeah k by s into s plus 1 this is equal to infinity therefore ess is equal to 1 by 1 plus infinity that is equal to simply 0 or all this is not required the given system is of type 1 for a type 1 system if you are giving step input steady state error will be directly 0 no need to do all this right let's go to the next question the open loop transfer function of a unity feedback system is given as g of s is equal to k into s plus 1 by s into s minus 1 to s plus 6. The system is unstable for, yeah, please underline that. People in hurry, they will read it as stable. They will come, they will do correctly, but they are going to take for the wrong answer. Why? Because they, they, 
they see the question in wrong way right it is unstable for solution get the characteristic equation what is characteristic equation 1 plus k into s plus 1 by s square minus s into s plus 6 is equal to 0 so characteristic equation is equal to s cube plus 6 s square minus s square minus 6 s plus k s yes plus k s plus k is equal to 0 right now characteristic equation is equal to s cube yes plus 5 s square plus 5 s square plus yes if i take s common then it will be k minus 6 plus k equal to 0 now apply r extrapolation s cube r need not required not required what is the shortcut is bc must be greater than ad for a third order system to be stable after satisfying all necessary conditions the condition is bc must be greater than ad first of all uh, to satisfy necessary condition k must be greater than 0 for stability i am writing for for the system to be stable for the system to be stable i am writing for the system to be stable i am writing here okay k must be greater than 0 and k minus 6 must be greater than 0 k greater than 6 and 5 into k minus 6 must be greater than k bc must be greater than ad bc this is a yeah b this is b this is c this is a this is a d okay bc 5 into k minus 6 must be greater than k so 5k minus 30 it is 30 must be greater than k so from this one 4k must be greater than 30 that implies k must be greater than 30 by 4 how much it is 30 by 4 yeah 30 by 4 is 7.5 4 7 is 28 uh, 4 5 is 2.4 uh, yes this is 7.5 so what uh, what all we require is yeah is it 7.5 only yeah 7.5 only 30 by 4 is 7.5 now observe here this is the condition for stable k greater than 7.5 yes uh, this is the condition for stability this is stable k equal to 7.5 that is not the answer that is not the correct answer for this it is marginally stable any value of k for greater than 0 no see it is unstable it is unstable up to some region okay means uh, it is stable for all k greater than 7.5 but for k less than 7.5 for k less than 7.5 it is unstable why because see this is the condition main condition k must be greater than 7.5 if for any value k less than 7.5 system is uh, unstable therefore option is c but uh, any value k greater than 0 any value k greater than 0 means uh, from 0 to infinity all possible values up to 7.5 only it is unstable after 7.5 it is stable right but i want my system to be unstable that is uh, up to 7.5 only therefore option d is also wrong okay yes so option is c let's go to the next question a system is having transfer function 25 by s square plus 8s plus 25 what is the time taken to reach the maximum peak overshoot for step in port maximum peak overshoot that formula is tp is equal to pi by omega d right pi by omega d what is omega d omega d is equal to omega n into root of 1 minus zeta square right now how much is omega n omega n is equal to 5 radians per second now what is zeta i told you shortcut zeta is equal to b by 2 root c so zeta is equal to 0.8 this can be written as 8 by 10 for our simplicity purpose now tp is equal to pi by omega d omega n into root of 1 minus zeta square 64 by 100 so that is equal to that is equal to pi by 5 into this will be 10 under root of 10 so 100 minus 64 will be 36 means it is 6 right 30 by 10 it will be 3 the answer is pi by 3 seconds pi by 3 choice is b that much easy it is right direct application of formula the unit step error coefficient of a system g of s is equal to 1 by s plus 6 into s plus 1 with unity feedback is so what is uh, step error coefficient kp what is kp limit s tends to 0 g of s uh, that is equal to limit s tends to 0 1 by s plus 6 into 
s plus 1 that is equal to 1 by 6 point 1667 that is equal to 0 0.1667 right yeah let's go to the next question by increasing the gain k of the system the steady state error yeah steady state error so ess is equal to a by 1 plus kp ess is equal to a by kv ESS is equal to A by K. These are the formulas for step, ramp and parabolic input to a system for error formulas. Now this KP is going to involve gain K. That KP is going to have gain K. This KV is going to have gain K. This K is going to have gain K. If gain K increases, denominator is going to increase, then error will decrease. Steady state error will decrease. Right? So very simply, steady state error is inversely proportional to gain k, right? So answer is a. Yeah, let's go to the next question. The characteristic equation of the system is s square plus 2s plus 8 is equal to 0. The damping ratio is simple question. Gta is equal to b by 2 root c. So 2 by 4 root 2, it is this is a, 2 1 by 2 root to 2 so 0 0.5 by root to 2 how much it is 0 0.5 by 1.414 0 0.5 by 1.414 does my calculation is right yes or let's do this way 1 by 2 root to 2 right so instead of that way if we want to get the value so zeta is equal to b yes it is by 2 root c root 8 so 1 by root 8 so 1 by root 8 how much it is 1 by root 8 1 by 2 root 2 1 by 2 root 2 right 1 by 2 root 2 value will be 0 0.5 less than 0 0.5 less than 0 0.5 somewhere it is 0 0.353 but it is not 0 0.45 okay yeah let's go to the next question now the open loop DC gain of a unity negative feedback system with the closed loop transfer function. See, see DC gain of what? Of what? The open loop DC gain. He is asking open loop DC gain of a closed loop system. First of all, you have to get the open loop transfer function. Open loop transfer function is equal to, I told you, uh, CLTF by 1 minus uh, CLTF. Right? That is equal to S plus 5 by s square plus 9s plus 13 minus s minus 5 so if you do that s plus 5 by s square plus 8s plus c it is 8 right so dc gain is equal to what does it mean by dc gain you have to put a s is equal to 0 dc gain means what is dc gain means oltf magnitude at s is equal to 0 if you do that you are going to get a 5 by 8 answer is 5 by 8 because he asked open loop dc gain see these are the questions i picked from various telangana state previous competitive examinations okay this way it is easy see i did it very simply that is possible if you learn concepts in that way see our module or our coaching will be like a result oriented okay so you will be learning so many shortcuts due to which you are going to save a lot of time and you can score more marks in the examination you can definitely achieve your goal of getting a job in telangana state if you follow our classes carefully thank you